How's it and aloha? Today's Sunday, September the 13th. It's your uncle, Uncle Burpee Yoga. Today's day 149 of me doing a minimum of 100 burpees on my 200 day burpee challenge. It's been a joy, it's been good fun. I'll be doing a rant pretty soon. You want to bypass that? Go to the bottom description and there will be a, a date, a timestamp on when uh, the routine starts. Um, usually I start off with a famous philosophical saying from Loji. Here it goes. One who substitutes the master carpenter to chop the wood rarely does not hurt his hands. Alrighty then. So today's rant is kind of uh, close to yesterday's rant, day 147. <clears throat> so um, I travel a lot with my family and uh, we go to Asia a lot. One time my kid was sick and we're in the country and then we went to see a doctor there. You know, she just got sick with some minor stuff and then uh one thing about going to doctors out of out of the u.s state is uh the doctor in most places especially in asia they not only see you and uh, diagnose you they also give you the medicine right then and there so when um when the doctor finished uh, checking out my kid they gave him the medicine one of them was uh it was the penicillin like i talked about yesterday like it was an antibiotic I'm thinking, is that really necessary? Well, don't, don't worry, just take it, you know, and then once you feel it's fine, then uh, finish taking it, and then, uh, you know, don't worry about it, you know. So, I thought nothing of it, you know. But then, many years later, then I realized, well, wait a minute, you know, if you give out drugs like that so easily, what's to stop patients from just, like, when they feel well, they don't take it, you know? And then that got me thinking. And that got me doing more research. So penicillin came about around 1943, just like what I said yesterday. Before then, people were dying from basically what they call it blood poisoning because they had an infection and the body's immune system cannot fight it. So without the invention and discovery of, of penicillin, many people died before, right? Since then, there's been many anti antibiotics, right? In fact, penicillin was actually sold over the counter for the first couple years. But obviously, that's no good because people don't understand how antibiotics work. And they don't understand how bacteria and viruses work, right? Bacteria actually mutates every 20, 20 minutes or so. So as soon as you kill it, they try to mutate and get better and better and better, right? This is a process of, uh, you know, what, natural selection you call it, I guess, for bacteria. So we are actually are building immunities no, actually not we, but the bacteria are actually building immunities to a lot of the antibiotics. There's about a hundred known antibiotics that we've actually discovered or made, and a lot of them are becoming not useful. Uh, in fact, there's a couple of superbugs running around the the world, not just our country, and there's no known cures for it. Once you get it, the antibiotics do not work. You know, at, at most, maybe there's two super, super killer ones in terms of antibiotics that still works, but that's our basically our last line of defense. The reason why it's so crazy is because the rampant use of antibiotics. Do you know that 50% of the antibiotics that is being prescribed in the hospital after they did research on it was not necessary for the patient? Do you also know that 45% of the antibiotics that's prescribed by your doctor does not even do anything to the condition that you have when you went to see the doctor? So, for example, you go to your doctor and you get an illness. The doctor prescribed you two medicines. One is the one that helps ease the whatever you have. The other one's antibiotic. And that antibiotic, 45% of the time, is not necessary, right? And how many people actually takes all the antibiotics? as you're supposed to, because you're supposed to kill off the bugs all the way through so they don't mutate. Uh, not many, because they feel well, they don't take it anymore. And the other crazy thing I found out is, let's say we don't even take antibiotics. whoop de doo Do you know almost 80% of the antibiotics used in the USA is on animals, and also on plants, also on aquaculture? All this shit is in the food that we eat. Right, and they give those animals and and plants and aquaculture basically daily. It's in our water supply is everywhere, and all is doing is giving bacteria 
more chances to mutate and build immune systems, right? So I sound like a doomsday machine <laughs> with this and AI, but the timelines are around the same. You know, if there's no new antibiotics drugs being invented and there's no incentives for the drug companies to do it because right now the the bacteria are, are are mutating so fast one of the latest uh, antibiotics that was uh, made uh, I think it was 2006 or 7 I think within one year they I mean they already mutated where it's, it, it's become immune anyway check out super bugs it is really scary um, it's running around and it's spreading uh, in mostly in especially in, in Asia where the use of antibiotic is rampant like crazy and if you live in anywhere outside of uh, the US and Europe where it's a little bit better regulated I mean when you go see a doctor you get antibiotics right and then you just take it with it and then and, but it's really bad because it sets up for the bacteria to be immune to it and it doesn't work then you got to get the higher level one with side effects and higher level ones and and you know at the end the bacteria always win, man. We think humans are, I mean, the last 70 years since 1943 to 45, we live, that's why our lifespan has gotten so long and longer and longer because of antibiotics. But now, you know what? It's, uh, it's going to be a strange world when you get sick and there's uh, not an antibiotic you can take that would cure it. So that's one of the reasons why I do burpees, by the way, just to stay fit, to stay out of the doctor's office because... Things are getting gnarly out there, so just be careful. And if you do take antibiotics, number one, ask your doctor why. The reason why I probably do it in the, in the States anyway is probably because of the liability, because they don't want to get sued in case you get sick worse and then they, you should have prescribed it. Uh, and the second thing is if you do take antibiotics, take the whole thing through as prescribed by your doctors, so whatever bacteria is left in your body is basically killed off. You know. Anyway, that's my rant. I'm going to be doing two pumps today. I do military-style burpees or prison-style burpees, which means we do a pump, which usually means it's a push-up. And uh, usually I do more than one pump. Uh, sometimes I add variations to it. Uh, I do a minimum of 100 of those. Today's uh, day 149. I might get a run-in or yoga. I don't know yet. But you probably know already because on the thumbnail it says what I did. So I don't know why I have to repeat it on the video. Or people do anyway. I don't know, whatever. Nobody gives a flying hoop. Let's get that money. And don't take antibiotics unless you have to. Thirteen. 
Oh, it's recording. Let's lay AI bacteria. It doubles. 
four pumps. One, two, three, four. Four. Seven.
I'll do ten eight four two four eight.
seven. All right, that's a good warm up. Go for a run. Do a couple of miles today. It's the longest I run if I ran two miles in the last 149 days. Let's go. Here goes the trapping again. Is it working? Yep. I'll be tight. I'm gonna go put my stuff away. And off we go. So we start at basically 29 minutes. So hopefully 39, 49 minutes. Four loops. Save my shoulders and my elbows to stay true to my goals. When I first started 150 days ago, I wasn't going to do 10,000 burpees or 50,000 push ups, which is why I probably did already. But I want to do a handstand. A handstand for 30 seconds. I want to do a muscle up and I want to do what is that planche and also front lever I've done none of those so I'm not being very successful here so I'm going to save my shoulders and my elbows And concentrate on those things. Focus on the goal. Oh, it's gonna be a tough two miles. I can feel it right. My stomach feels weird. You know, when you get old, it's really strange. You know, the little things get you happier than the big things that you thought was going to make you happy. Does it? And you see the world different. It's so strange. I mean, everybody has got their ideals. And they're young. 
never lose your ideals. You gotta find a balancing act between your ideals and reality. There's no perfect system. Because man inherently is imperfect. How can you throw an imperfect component into a perfectly made system and expect it to be perfect? That doesn't even make sense. The equation won't balance. The perfect system can only work if everything is perfect. And humans are far from perfect. How would you execute a perfect system then? It's fucking unachievable. That's what it is. People don't get it. They think if they build a better mousetrap, they'll be able to catch all the mice and mouse. That's bullshit. You're never gonna catch them all. There's no perfect mouse trap. It's like there's no perfect system with humans in there. How you doing my brother? You get it? You don't get it? That's the way it works, man. I always say any business out there is perfect. As long as you don't have to deal with humans. They're the one that's flawed. It's never the machine. The machine's flawed. It's because the fucking human fucked up programming it. So it's not the fault of the machine. It's still the fault of the human who programmed it. So if that's the case, what? You're gonna tell me you're gonna replace one group of flawed human with another group of less flawed human and then the system's gonna be perfect? No way, man. Eventually, these quote unquote less flawed human will have other flaws and it'll manifest in the system. And then where are you gonna be at? Actually, I should put this in one of my rants at the beginning because I doubt anybody listens to me while I'm running. I understand. I wouldn't watch me while I'm running either. Nor my burpees or whatever. I'm really only doing it. Oh, I'm doing a loop too already. One fifth of the way in. Hard to tell you. I was like, I'm saying. If they want to go fast, why don't we just fucking get a motorcycle? Much faster, man. Car's full of shit. Anyway. My original intent to start this YouTube channel was to record all the stuff I could do at my advanced age going toward Sinau City. I never thought I could do all the burpees and shit that I've done. And I wreck it all so happy. And then the channel starts growing. I started meeting a lot of good fellow subscribers. Some of them are genuine. Some of them are flakes. Some of them don't know how to play the game. Whatever. So, it just keeps growing. And here I am.
you know, my workout is the shortest part of this whole YouTube journey daily. I spend way more time answering and spending time on my sub video than my workout. It's driving my family nuts. But I made my commitment to follow through. And that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see where we go after that. I think I'm making okay time. My thumb's getting kind of tired holding the phone like this. I keep having to switch hands. Thank God the weather is not as hot as before. I remember it was 115 degrees, 113 one time. That was tough. Now, it's not so bad at all. All right. Coming up to my second loop. All right, very close. Still recording. All right. Half down, two more loops. Now to go the other way. Everything needs to balance. That's actually the hardest thing in life. Get the balance. Get the balance. The line is wet. What you can do. Usually, I run with a long sleeve shirt. I have a rant for that. You know, I have all these ideas in my head. It just pops up. Sometimes, I'll remember to write it down. Next day, sixth day, I'll have a rant. I completely forget. Huh. I probably forgot that rant already. You know when you're old and you're running? Do the best you can. Even a slight incline, your body goes, Oh shit, this is hard. There must be an incline. And then when there's a slight decline <laughs> downhill, you're like so fucking happy. So strange. I used to run cross country. I ran the 400s too. When I was in high school. I sucked at both. I could run it. That's all I could do. I used to wrestle. That was good fun. I love wrestling. Because I thought it was so cool. 
that. You're waiting the same as your opponent. So, I'm short, but I could be stronger than a tall, lanky dude. Or, I could be tall and use my length and leverage. I always thought wrestling was one of the most fair sport because obviously if you see my broken videos there's no way I could play football unless I was a kicker or if I could play basketball not even volleyball probably because I'm so short I couldn't even be a digger because I'm probably not fast enough. Ooh, my stomach feels shitty. I like it's about to have side pain, but not really. Uh, close to loop three. Then I got one more loop. Then I'm gonna go home. Take a dump. But not running too fast. Oops, would that help? <sighs> All right, loop three is done. Last loop, then I can go. That'll make it the longest run I've done in the last four months. That's hilarious. Yeah. It took this long. This used to be a warm-up when I was younger. Now, this is my entire run. That's terrible. I slacked off a lot. I used to be way more fit. It's okay. I'm two miles better today than myself yesterday. Yep. I'm concentrating on my stomach, which is not liking me right now. I'm 
one third of the way done. Or two third, I mean. Home stretch. on the corner at the end of the road. Peace out.